Hello everybody, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. And here we're back for more action on the anti-gravity Tesla coil tower. Some of you astutely observed from yesterday's video that I have a dozen Tesla coils on here and that zapped me for a total of 10 damage on my way down to the platform, which was sure better than dying, but is it necessary? The question most of you asked was, can you use just one at the bottom to arrest your fall before you hit and die? Well, we're about to find out. So I have removed the power lead going from here up to the other HBHFs, so the rest of these are not going to trigger. And I removed the power leads from the bottom here, so we just have the one last one on the bottom hooked up. Also lowered the power down to three out of the branch, so this is going to be one unit of power coming out of just this one Tesla coil at the bottom. Fire it up here. All right, so here we are at the top. I'm going to try and bias myself a little bit to the left, and then I'm going to try and jump clear of the edge here, try to stay near the middle of this wall, where I'm going to be as close as I can to the Tesla coils without hitting them. Yes, you can actually hit them and land on them. Um, if you land on them far enough down, they'll kill you just like a floor, so gotta stay away from them, but not too far. And here we have just the one last Tesla coil at the bottom. Here we go. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> and I'm dead. Alright, so clearly having just the one Tesla coil at the bottom is not sufficient to arrest your fall. So now what we're going to do is hook up two at the bottom just to see if having more than one here will be enough to slow us down right before the platform. So I'm go ahead and turn this back on. And go back up to the top. Full health, full everything. try and fall a little bit closer to them but right down the middle and see if the last two can catch me here we go nope <laughs> and we're back and now my suspicion here is that these Tesla coils while they can slow your movement are not going to be quite sufficient to slow you down when you're already moving at terminal velocity, or at least the game's relative idea of terminal velocity. So what I've done is made a slight change, and I've gone through and I've hooked up uh, one of the Tesla coils for each of these four HBHFs that I already have in place. Now, the reason I chose one is because if this works, then what it means is you don't actually need the second circuit and the splitter and all this other rigging. You could use the one unit of power that's actually coming out of the HBHF to power the one Tesla coil. So that simplifies the setup significantly if you can use one Tesla coil per HBHF. The HBHFs are spaced the way they are because they have a, a three uh, foundation or three square radius. So I set them up so that they are uh, able to cover three squares each so there's a little bit of overlap and in this case I hooked up the Tesla coil that's below the HBHF in the set of three because I wanted to make sure the Tesla coil would see me coming and have time to turn on the or I'm sorry the HBHF would see me coming and have time to turn on the Tesla coil before I actually got to it so the experiment here is as I fall from this top platform Will my speed going down two floors with nothing to stop me be arrested by this third one? Will this slow me enough so that my free fall down the next two floors can be arrested again and again and then finally one last time before I drop to the platform below and keep me alive or hopefully keep me alive? So four HBHFs, four Tesla coils, one each, spaced three floors apart with the hope that this will uh, keep me from dying when I hit the bottom. And ideally, if it worked like the original example, it will cause me less than 10 units of damage because uh, if this can keep me slowed down, I only have to go past four of them. So that means I should only have to take maybe four or five units of damage on the way down instead of 10. 
So, here we go. Not in God mode. Pull everything. And let's see what happens. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. All the way down with only three units of damage. So, even though I passed four Tesla coils, I wasn't exposed to them quite long enough to actually do four full units of damage. So that's an ideal and much more efficient way of setting up this drop. So if you're looking for a way to set up a drop either as an escape route or as some other folks have now suggested, maybe as an entrance into your base, make a big drop that goes down to a door at the bottom with HBHF sensors that are only set up to recognize friendly units and not foes. This means that if your enemies try to drop down here, they would presumably uh, fall all the way to the bottom and die. Um, that's not entirely true because they could drop from one Tesla coil to the next. <laughs> so you might have to hide them away in like a little alcove or something. Uh, that will also, also make them less effective at arresting your fall too. So you're gonna have to find a balance. But if you wanna just try this as a raw example, just make sure you've got one Tesla coil every three floors and you could just go one-to-one -one on the HBHFs and create yourself a, a safety drop all the way down to like a bottom-in entrance to the base. Uh, maybe put some extra coils at the bottom or something that are only set for enemies. So if they do happen to drop all the way down, they'll get fried when they get to the door. You can think of a lot of possible scenarios here. So for all of you who are asking, can you use one Tesla coil or a couple Tesla coils at the bottom? The answer is no, it won't arrest your fall fast enough. And uh, just for reference, I did try making a ring of Tesla coils at the bottom and that did not work either. It's important that you're passing them uh, linearly and having them slow your fall as you proceed down the wall. Uh, hitting a bunch of them all at once still does not stop your fall. So that's it. More fun with Tesla coils. I'm sure there's a lot more to come. Good luck and don't suck.